Hi, I'm Danny Brown with Myriad Real Estate Group, and as we finish up the third quarter and head into the fourth quarter of 2017, I thought it would be fun to kind of give everybody a market update on where the Phoenix real estate market is at. Currently in Maricopa County, we have about 18,000 homes for sale. This time last year, we had 20,000 homes for sale. That doesn't seem like a really big difference, but when the inventory is as low as it is, that 10% is huge. So what we're finding is that for homes that are priced actively, that the days on market tend to be shorter because there's multiple offers occurring, there's buyers that are competing for those same properties, and it's been really driving prices up all of 2017. I'm not sure if that's gonna continue into 2018, but that's kind of what it's looked like so far. Conversely, the monthly sales uh, that, that have taken place in Phoenix were also up about 10% month over month, so that's another big, huge indicator that the housing market has been just going gangbusters in 2017. So what does all of this mean for you? It just means that right now that Phoenix has less than a three-month inventory of homes, and and that means if no new homes were listed for sale, that we would run out of listings in less than three months. So as we head into the fourth quarter, this tends to be the slowest time of year for Phoenix real estate. We're not seeing a lot of new listings uh, once we hit Thanksgiving. Most people are focused more on the holidays than they are on listing and selling their home. There's just too many stressful things to deal with during the holidays that most people don't wanna add, listing their home for sale and having people wander through their property when they're trying to plan around family and Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and all those things. So my prediction for the fourth quarter is that things are gonna remain relatively flat. I don't think that we're gonna see really any increases in value over October, November, December. In fact, we may see prices kind of come down a little bit. Most people, when they list properties, they're trying to ride the increase in property values over time and then we hit a certain point of the year where there's just that supply and demand kind of uh, even out. So so buyers tend to stop looking, new listings stop coming on the market, and things just tend to be a little bit flat. And the listings that are listed tend to be older. Those prices can sometimes start to come down to try and motivate buyers who are in the market to make offers. Where I see this as kind of a competitive advantage for both buyers and sellers is if you're a buyer in this market, there's less competition for you. you have less buyers competing for those listings because they're worried about the holidays and you can sometimes get a much better deal this time of year. The properties that are listed for sale, like I said, have been on the market for a little bit longer and you can sometimes get those prices to come down. You can get the sellers to contribute towards your closing costs, buy you a home warranty, those types of things. Where I can see this as an advantage for sellers during this time, so if you're thinking about listing your property for sale, this could be also a really great time for you to sell because there's also less competition for sellers. So you're not competing against all the other sellers for those same amount of buyers. The trade-off is, is if you're a buyer, you have less choices. So you're foregoing all of the new listings that are going to take place, you know, after the beginning of the year and running through the spring, but you're kind of getting in before all those other buyers as well. So you're avoiding that competition, but you're missing the selection. For sellers, you need to price it right. If you're thinking of listing during the holidays, you need to list it accurately the first time you're not going to be riding the wave of previous sales that happened in the spring and the summertime so you're not going to get those higher values you need to price it accurately the first time and if you're taking photos during this time please 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 take photos before you put up your holiday decorations there's nothing more tacky come January and February than seeing photos in the MLS of a house covered in Christmas decorations. So that's my prediction for the fourth quarter in the Phoenix real estate market. If you need anything at all, please reach out to us.